What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Rogue Actions feels a lot different today. Our mini moment, we're just getting right into it. The mini moment is uh, having uh, some small people here over to my right, left, down, wherever you guys are. Uh, who are these clowns joining Rogue Actions today, Heinze? Uh, let me introduce, hello everyone, welcome fam. Always good to be back with you guys. Thank you so much for joining us, of course. This awesome video. Hit that subscribe button for our boy Cubs if you haven't already. Ah, uh, we have uh, we got this uh, this guy who's kind of a bit of a supermodel. Um, he thinks he's a actually he's a pretty big deal. Our, and loves R and Jesus. Uh, huge fan of R and Jesus. Uh, our boy Grid, of course, as well. How are you, brother? Hey, you going, man. I'm I'm not responding to you. <laughs> <laughs> Grid, I'm not talking Grid, to you. are you doing your best AP Gaines impersonation with like whiteboard stuff behind you? No, this is so. This is my wall. That's a backwards I've had this five. For a while, I know it's. No, it's not. Look. No, see, it's a backwards five. Nice. Wait, is it not mirrored on your guys's end? So it's backwards. Okay, well, it's, it's mirrored. It's supposed to be mirrored. It says six oh five, but yeah, mm. my numbers are backwards. It, it, yeah, it's a whiteboard. Well, paint, if that's so you can like draw straight but on the wall. If that's mirrored, cool. why is the bottom one mirrored and the top one isn't? I was only paying attention to the bottom one. <laughs> <laughs> it's too no look so that's that's the youtube that's the youtube subs and then that's the twitch subs and i can't update this, the youtube subs this that looks like they, my they, seven-year-old no my four-year-old daughter did this yes it, it, it probably did better than me arts was not my uh, we believe was you. Not my you don't area. need to convince us all right we uh, we also got somebody man. else here we've yep. i like how grin just there. walked into rogue actions and got roasted yeah. immediately <laughs> I mean, I, well, I, would, I, I don't expect anything less, honestly, okay. at this point. We, we, we've got everyone's, everyone's favorite uh, bounty hunter lover, our boy here, Swains. How are you, brother? How you going, man? What's going on? I'm good, man. I'm happy to be a guest. Swain, oh, you guys Swains are going to roast him? Rogue no, Swains is a great dude. Hey, you know what, Greg? You can go ahead and off. Right? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I didn't roast you. I'm just wondering why I was so special. <laughs> It's the beanie. That's really what it is. It's the beanie. It's, there's, there's you guys one... will always know if I'm wearing a beanie, it's because I felt lazy and I didn't want to do my hair. That is, that's why I wear a beanie. There's way too much hair in this particular video. I feel a little bit self-conscious right now. <laughs> <laughs> there's enough lot, hair man. on Gridden and Sween's face to fill your entire head, Heinzy. Yes! Yeah. Yes. We can just... Donations yeah. expected. <laughs> Oh All right. Uh, Instead today, of PayPal, we'll call it Hair Pal. Today, we'll it today's on mini moment brought to you by uh, Gridden's beard and Swing's beard. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about a couple things here, and then we're gonna jump over to Heinze's end and uh, record recording this a little bit early because we've got uh, I'm gonna be hopefully on a cruise. Although we just found out the cruise line that I'm going with uh, canceled a few cruises due to COVID, so hopefully I get there and we have a ship to get on. So everyone, wish me luck. Oh my God. Okay. Well, good luck. We're, hopefully, we're hopefully vaccinated. You have more luck. We're COVID free. We got the tests, and now we just need to hope that the world crop waits with us. So we'll, we'll just have you to wait. Your banana hammock? I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm really concerned. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, anyway. you have more luck with that than you did when you were doing that night sister battle. Oh! oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Gridden, what's your, what's your record since the GAC shifted? Uh, I don't know, record? like 10 and something. <laughs> I've lost three times. That's it? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. I thought I heard <laughs> you say you were doing really bad. I guess I guess that's pretty bad. I mean, for, for me, guys. where I like to go 12 and 0 every single match, yeah, I'm doing terrible. All right, all right, all right. I'm doing um, way worse than I've ever okay, done. This, this is the most off topic rogue actions we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> yep. Probably because Grid is here. Um, but Sorry. We got to go around the table here and predict. Who is the next Conquest character going to be? We are almost hmm. done with the Boba Fett Conquest, and so we're going to hmm. have a break here. And pretty soon, I would expect within the next few weeks, we're going to know who that next character is. And so who do you think it will be? I'm going to let uh, the new guy a answer first. So, uh, Swains. Go, Swains. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, next Conquest character. So the first two have really been defining and key pieces for new GLs, mm -hmm. and there's no GL whisper on the horizon. Um, now we're getting, like, the GL of TW with uh, Dad Bod Boba. So I don't know, man. I kind of feel like that I'm, I'm not going to make a specific prediction because I honestly have no earthly clue, and I've not kept my ear close to it. 
You are clearly um, not a YouTuber. Yeah, you, you're, you, you know, man. You, you, I got yeah, predictions coming out of my butt every day, man. <laughs> just, well, see, just comes, throw something out there. It's going to be four long. I don't know, man. I think, yeah, uh, I think they kind of might might do something where that they want it to be a conquest specific character that they'll have a separate ability that is only applicable for conquest kind of like how omicrons okay. right now are being applied just to gac or to just tw that's what i got okay so you're not you're not going to make any prediction like nothing from book of Boba fett nothing from nothing no see if if i don't make a prediction then you can't roast me for, like ferociously so no <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Grinnin, we can roast you ferociously, even if you don't make yes. a prediction. So like, give, give me your prediction yeah. and we'll roast you either way. Um, in light of uh, some recent tweets that came out, I would love to see Aiden Versio Ooh. if she was the Conquest character. That'll be my guess. Yeah, so if anyone um, doesn't Rebel... know what he's talking about, can, can you summarize that real quick? Just give us a quick synopsis. Yes, summarize Sam Witwer, who is Starkiller, had a little tweet interaction with, I can't remember who, her name, but who was the, the actress for Aiden Versio yeah. from Battlefront 2. Yeah. Um, they had this little tweet interaction, and it seemed to allude that she might be a part of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes because she specifically referenced it, and they had a little chat about it. Anyways, I, I, would, I would love to see her in there. I really would. Uh, Rebel or Empire version, I'm cool with either one. Empire would go a little bit more with Lord Vader. Rebel would go a little bit more with some of the Rebels that we already have in the game. So I'm yeah. cool with either one. I kind of would prefer Empire because, you know, her kit looks super cool. But uh, yeah, I'd love to see an Empire Iden Versio coming in. Captain of the Inferno squad. So here's the exchange. Um, I'm not putting it on screen right now because we messed with everything to get everyone's uh, faces up here. But uh, um, by the way, her name is Jan Janina. Janina Gavesca. Thank you. I had no idea how to pronounce that. All right. Don't uh, blame me for not remembering she that. She tagged Thank Sam you. Witwer and said, yes. Sam Witwer and his furrowed brow got into Galaxy of Heroes, and I'm totally not jealous about it. It's like whatever, really. Hashtag SWGOH. <laughs> and, so, and then they had a little exchange after that. So I don't know if this yeah. reads to me. like I, I think people are excited about this because it would be awesome to get item Versio. But I don't know if this reads to me like she it has anything going on. I think it's just... Probably not. I think it's just a little Twitter banter, and may maybe she's a fan of the game, though. I, that, the biggest thing I took away from this is, oh, maybe she's a fan of Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah, I, I mean, realistically, I don't know, but it'd be cool. I'd like to see her in there. Okay, Heinze, you're next. Who's your prediction? Oh, look, I, I think that we all agree. I think Arden would be fantastic. Um, it's, it's really tricky, as you as. As Swain said, and he alluded to, in the past, we've had a Galactic Legend where we know that it does definitely pair to. We haven't got right. that right now. We're in flux. Um, so, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out and say, I want Gamorrean Brute. Um, let's bring yeah, another Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Piggy. All right. Uh, let's Piggy it up, baby. I yeah. think that would be cool. Bit of a bit of a Geo Brute Alpha style, you know, like with the two of them mm. together. The original. Maybe cranking that up. That could be a bit of fun. I like that. Um, we, we could... We could even fill out um, some uh, a faction that's been sitting there with three for a long, long time, Cubs. Uh, Tuskins. As well. We could get some Tuskins filled in, mate. That'd we, actually be yeah. really cool. Oh, I Can thought I you were talking about answer? mob enforcement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Tuskins, mate. Tuskins. We, they, honestly, they've been at three for way too long now, I yeah. believe. Uh, I think now that uh, without any spoilers, uh, I think that, uh, yeah, for the Book of Boba Fett, of course, I think now we, we definitely have a few viable characters that could definitely fill those final slots. And I think the sooner the better for those. Yeah. I know there's a few Tuscan fans out there that play this game. I think it would be nice to bring them in. So, okay. Uh, for, firstly, I want to talk about the Gamorrean Brutes. Uh, how sweet would it be if we basically got kind of the, the old school Rancor Gamorrean guard that could summon those two Brutes, just like, yeah. just like we yeah. saw in the raid. Yeah. yeah. So, and not just cool. one, but two. Although I, I think they've kind of reworked, they, they worked the code to where you only summon one, and there's only one summon spot. So I don't know if I don't know if we could go to two summons. But that'd how, be pretty how cool. cool. How cool would it be though that if there was even bonus synergy in a game mode, if Boba and Fennec were in the same lineup? Mm. You know, it'd be cool. A character um, with a sort of resummoning ability. So like, imagine you have like Dad Bod Boba and Fennec, and then you have Gamorrean Guard. And then whatever other two characters, but this, or not Gamorrean Guard, sorry, a, a different Gamorrean, what'd you call it, Brute? Gamorrean yeah. Brute. 
Yeah. And any time a character on the allied team dies in that spot, it summons a brute guard instead. <laughs> so as the match goes on, people cool. die, and then a brute fills that spot. And that so you're constantly getting That feels like a Geonosian thing to do, though. Like the, the brutes yeah, don't feel like someone, like that. That's not, that sounds like a bug, like a cockroach kind of ability where you kill one and <laughs> here come more, right? Yeah, something I, I love to that, that idea, extent. Though. I think that could be kind of cool. It's fun. So much, so many options. Bring That'd the piggy, give cool. the piggy some love. That's what we want. Give the piggy some love. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, so my you actually kind of touched on my prediction. It's a specific character uh, from Book of Boba Fett, which, by the way, for the rest of the video, if you're really sensitive to spoilers about Book of Boba Fett, you may want to turn off for the rest of the video. Um, I'm going to talk about two characters and specifically that appear. Um, if you're a casual Star Wars fan, they probably won't mean a lot to you, but especially those Star Wars fans who are comic fans, uh, there's one character in particular that shows up in Episode 2 that you may not want to get spoiled on if you haven't seen Episode 2 yet. So I think I've given you a fair enough warning. So the first one that I think could be a Conquest character is, uh, well, there's two actually, and I want to talk about one specifically as its own topic entirely. The first one is the Tuscan that uh, Boba is training with, uh, who yeah. seems to be a female yes. Tuscan. I don't know if we have any kind of um, name or anything released for, for her, assuming it's a her. Isn't it just Tuscan Warrior, I think? Isn't it just the Tuscan, Tuscan Warrior? Warrior? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel there's got to be a name. Like may, maybe we'll get down the line, but uh, she is an absolute badass. Yeah. And I, man, I mean, like, especially in episode two when she's just pulling up on the speeder and just launches the bike into the train and dives onto the trail. I was like, oh, snap. That would be a conquest worthy character, I think. Could, could even give us something along the lines of the, you know, the Emphis Nest type kit as mm. well, something along those lines. She's at least mm -hmm. as cool as Emphis Nest. I yeah, cool. yeah, I so far, yeah, fun. so far it is, quote, a an unnamed female Tuscan Raider warrior. So it is confirmed yeah. female. So, okay, I, th I thought yeah. female, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. Yeah, yep. so nothing nothing confirmed yet on who she is. We yeah. gotta, we're going to find out more. We're gonna, by, which, by the way, oh, side yeah. note, I really want to see what a Tuscan's face looks like. So yeah. badly. There, there's stuff in like deep, like deep lore that has shown it before, but nothing canon that I'm aware of. And so, I'm ready for I that. They were, aren't they just kind of like weird looking people? Wow, that was that, that was very <laughs> speciesist of you. <laughs> no, I mean like I'm I'm pretty sure they're just humans, but their face is like 100 disfigured from the mask. Aren't aren't you like just a weird looking person, Gridden? See, I'm how a does, super how does weird that make person. So how does that make you feel? When I say stuff Fine. like that. I mean, you know, I'm weird, so I can talk about weird people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and that leads me into the next character that I think could be in Conquest, and this is the... That uh, leads you into the next character? <laughs> yes. Black Chrysanthemum. Oh. Um, oh! When I saw yeah. him show up, my Ooh. knees went weak. And if I actually had to look up the lore. It was just like, man, that dude looks... So amazing. I need that Wookiee in Galaxy Fucking Heroes. And then I terrifying. looked up the lore of Black Chrysanthemum mm. because I think he's mostly in the comics. And there's a lot there, actually. He actually has fights with Kenobi. He's uh, mm -hmm. fought with Boba. And this is just like one of the meanest, baddest Wookiees that I have ever read about. And so we need, I think he actually, maybe even over the Tuscan, could be the Conquest character. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm I'm down for that. I'd be definitely down for that. I just, it just on the screen, it just transferred beautifully, didn't it? It looked incredible. Oh, but in the way that they panned to Black oh, Chrysanthemum just slowly oh. walking out. I know. Hey Cubs, can I ask? Because I know that you weren't a massive fan of Episode One. Episode Two has that mm -hmm. ignited the fire? A hundred percent. Yeah, Episode yeah. One to me, I, mm. I it's not. I, I didn't not like it. I just was kind of expecting more of a punch from Episode One. That punch came in episode two. You know, yeah. the punch with seeing the two ja uh, the, the, uh, Jabba's cousins coming across the way, you know, on their, yeah. on their uh, what's it called? Their, um, oh my gosh, the, the, the thing that they were on. Oh my gosh, what do they call that? Litter? Uh, litter, I think. litter. The litter. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's like bending under their weight and uh, the, the way that how menacing they felt and how everyone just seems terrified of them. And uh, it, just, it finally gave some like, real conflict i think and what is boba trying to accomplish and they're also with boba and I, we're kind of just going into boba book of boba fett chat now so i'm i'm yeah, hey, i'm down i'm a star wars fan um <laughs> but i i was kind of wondering like what is boba's motive to to even rule this crime world right 
And yeah. episode two kind of gives us a little bit of that because he's out there seeing what Jabba's rule was like and how that affected people. And that's why that were that's I think what drives the line. I intend to rule w- not with fear but with respect. And yeah. so I just I I there's so much more that came from this episode. Black Chrysanthemum was awesome. The backstory is awesome. Learning more about. Uh, Tuscan culture, the lizard up the nose, the trip that Boba went on, building his own gaffy stick. I mean, it was, yeah, I I was interested in episode one. I didn't not like it, but by the end of episode two, I'm sold on Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, it was epic. Sweeney, I'd love to hear what you think. You've been been quiet. Uh, Dude, so I am incredibly biased. I have been looking (laughs) forward to Book of Boba Fett Literally since its announcement. Hey, you're a and... bounty hunter guy. Oh, pfft. oh yeah. Oh, oh nerd. It... Oh, he's a nerd. <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh, he's, he's a nerd. A nerd. <laughs> he's a nerd. Uh, uh, don't don't ask me to show you my lightsaber collection. Actually, I'm I'm one to talk. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see your your big stick. Anyway, um, I... <laughs> no, dude. It's a lot of people like it. It has just been so so great. Like, oh, I loved it when question... I went and visited. The, the only question that I have has been what drove Boba Fett to leave the Tuscan culture and the Tuscan civilization that he's Great with. Great question. I'm imagining that we're going to see something very ugly in the very near future, but like, you know, that he goes from being a slave, being abused, trying to escape, then put it on, you know, super extra lockdown, saving the life of a young youngling, and then he's recognized by the leader of the tribe as an actual warrior okay we're going to bring you into our culture we're going to teach you about how we live so like it seems like he's gone from an absolute wretched desolate shell of a man back into how he built his reputation how he thrived in the galaxy so i'm kind of curious what the motivation is for him to step away from that i love that I actually kind of feel as you, that question made me think in my mind, well, the Tuscans that he's shacking with are going to die. <laughs> yeah. I, I know it's, it sounds heartless, but I, I, I can't think of anything else that I, I think lead him I, away. I feel like that's got to be the only thing at this point that would I drive him away. Sad. And drive him back to, you know, take the throne. Cause oh. can, or, can, I, can I talk speculation? He, he'd want the power to protect it's, other Tuscan tribes. Anyway, go on, Heinze. Imagine if you get all the Tuscans starting to rock up to the Hut Palace and sort of help our boy out. He needs oh, to be there. That'd be cool. What if we have I mean, an end game scene in Star Wars where all of the Tuscans come out of the woodwork? Yeah, you know where I'm. You know where Let's I'm coming go. from. Here. You to feel it oh, on. that's so cool. Imagine the it. voices of one thousand Tuscans. Oh my gosh, it'd be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yep. moving to Hut Palace help out our boy Boba. Needs some love. Needs some help with the support. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so uh, really good stuff. We got to continue over on Heinze's video. Uh, I think th- we should do a podcast or something and just talk about Star Wars. I feel like this is a conversation that I cut short because we're doing a YouTube video, but I could talk Book of yeah. Boba Fett with you, this group right here, for hours on end. So if you guys mm-hmm. want that, let me know down in the comments. Maybe we can figure something out. But in the meantime, check the link down below. Heinze's got another video. We're going to talk more about item Versio. We're going to talk about Conquest Omicrons, or rather, do we want to use Omicrons in Conquest, which obviously the answer is yes, unless you are a terrible person. All right. We're getting out of here, fam. As always, my brothers, don't forget. It just ruined my video. Now nah, come on, watch it.